Hi koalas, today we're going to read a story, so get comfortable. The book is called Just the Job for Dad by Abby Longstaff and Lauren Beard. Dad was rushing. He ran back and forth across the kitchen, pulling on his socks, pouring milk, popping up toast, and packing his briefcase. You're busy this morning, said Emma. Why are you running around? asked Sam. I'm late for work, Dad explained. I have a meeting first thing and I need to file a form. Then I have to type a report and after lunch I have another meeting. Emma and Sam yawned. Oh, Dad's job was so boring. But then, said Dad, I'll come home early and see you. He blew kisses as he waved goodbye. The children looked at each other. They had just a brilliant idea. Let's find Dad a more exciting job, said Emma. Something fun, Sam added. Somewhere amazing for us to visit. I know just where to start, Emma cried. At the castle, Sir Bravelot and his knights were riding their horses. Excuse me, please, Emma bowed. Good morrow, fair maiden, boomed Sir Bravelot. Pray tell, what is thy quest? Are there any jobs here for our dad, Emma asked. Certainly, said Sir Bravelot. We need someone to tickle the dragon and distract him while we get the king's treasure back. Perfect, cried Sam. That's just the job for dad. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Joyous news, Sir Bravelot cheered. Tell your dad we ride at sunrise. Oh, said Emma. Oh, said Sam. Dad makes us breakfast every morning, Emma explained. He can't miss that, Sam cried. Verily he cannot, Sir Bravelot waved goodbye fare thee well. Come on, Emma, Sam tugged her arm. Let's try the lagoon. Down by the pier, Captain Scratchbeard was washing his ship. Excuse me, please, Sam waved hello. Ahoy there, my hearties, called Captain Scratchbeard. What can I do for you? Are there any jobs here for our dad, asked Emma. Captain Scratchbeard scratched his beard. Hmm, we do need someone to keep a lookout for the crow's nest. Perfect, said Sam. That's just the job for dad. Arr, cheered the captain. We sail at five o'clock. Tell your dad to be here then. Oh, said Emma. Oh, said Sam. At five o'clock, dad takes us swimming, Emma explained. He can't miss that, Sam cried. Arr, no, that he can't, Captain scratched beard. Wave goodbye. Farewell, mateys. Let's try somewhere else, said Emma. But... The tightrope walkers always perform at dinner time. The jungle explorers were leaving at bath time. And the wizard cast spells at midnight when the whole fa family would be tucked up in bed. There's one place we could try. Emma led the way. <gasps> at the space station, Astro Annie and her crew were setting up the rocket ready to zoom into space. Excuse me, please, Sam called. Reading you loud and clear, reported Annie. How can I help? Are there any jobs here for our dad? asked Emma. Affirmative. Annie replied, we need someone to fly the rocket to the moon. Perfect, said Sam. That's just the job for dad. Roger that. Annie gave them the thumbs up. He'll be in the pilot's seat for a week. A week, said Emma. A whole week, said Sam. But on Mondays, he picks us up from school. On Wednesdays, he takes us to the park. On Fridays, he cooks dinner. And every night, he tucks us up in bed. Then he reads us our favorite stories. We'll miss him if we don't see him, cried the children. Understood, Annie waved. Good luck with your mission. 
Dad, we've decided you can keep your job, said Emma. Yes, Sam nodded. You can go to meetings, you can file forms, and you can type up reports, just as long as you still come home early and see us. Dad smiled. Then that's just the job for me. Besides, added Emma, we have enough excitement with Mom's job anyway. Especially when she drops us at school on her way to work. The end. See you next time.